does it not require less faith to believe the earth was uh, created rather than it just appeared? As there are 24 times 10 to the power of 24 planets and only one can sustain life. Is it easier to believe that if you flipped a coin 10 quintillion times and landed heads every time or that you landed heads half of the times? Make of that what you will. Well, that question starts with a false proposition. It doesn't require faith to believe... Well, it does require faith to believe that the Earth was created, but it doesn't require faith to believe that it just appeared, because it didn't just appear. We know how it appeared, and we have... Whoa, I'm falling to bits here. And we have um, evidence to show that gravity caused the accretion of particles and that the same gravity caused them to form orbits around larger particles. We can explain, it didn't just appear. We can explain the process of formation of stars and planets and moons. Now, go and study a book on science and find out that that is completely wrong. And as for the statistical thing, well, of course, it doesn't apply. It, the, the number of uh, heads and tails will balance out over a great number like that. They won't end up lopsided. That's very unreasonable to expect. Yes? Sorry, so the question is, right, so of, we're assuming that the Earth was the and we're not, we're not taking into account the fact that gravity and things like that, because then that starts the question, where did gravity come from? We're just assuming that there is no creator. That's what the question is. So we're saying that right. there's no creator, is it not easier to believe that the world so we're saying is it not easy to believe that the world was created? Because if there was no creator, how come we have all these planets and all these parameters and yet the earth just appears? Right. Well, thank you for the clarification. I don't say that there is no creator. I say there is no evidence for a creator. And looking at what there is and calling it creation and therefore assuming by some process that it's your God that did it and not, you know, a, 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 I can't remember the name. There's an African God that, whose name I usually roll off now. But he, he has a creation story too. And that one is for, he's forgotten now. He's, nobody follows him. So... Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that... Um, no, I've lost the thread of it now. What were you saying? It's... Okay, so if I, if I flip the coin... Ah, no, what... what, what, what yeah. Times, is it not easy to believe that, in terms of probability, is it not required less faith to believe that the Earth was created? Well... <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, this is not... We're not talking about... It's, this is a false comparison. We're not talking about probability here. We're talking about evidence of a process, which we have studied, and we've got, you know, convincing evidence that explains how it went on. And it wasn't st a statistical random event. But what you're trying to make here is a non sequitur fallacy. OK. Thank you. Uh, do you want a response on that one? Uh, yes. Yes. Specifically, anyone? Yeah, so. I, obviously, he's not. So I can't interrogate John anymore. But I would like to know what is he? But does he? Does he? Is he uncertain about God's existence? Because he seems to play the card both ways. Sometimes he will call himself an anti-theist. Sometimes an atheist, and sometimes just you know that I, I don't. I'm not saying God doesn't exist. What do you mean by that? I mean, I'd like to know that. Obviously, maybe for another debate. But mm, just touching upon this. Sorry. Definitely another debate. Yeah, definitely. Um, but just touching upon this. Hopefully, come again inshallah. next week. Inshallah. The, 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 the point on this, I think is, this, is a, this, is a, this is a broader point that's being made here. And I think we should just zoom out a little bit more and go to the origins of the universe itself. right? Which is, we have this entire universe with all of its complexity, all of the laws which you would appreciate, the laws of physics, mathematics, logic, etc. I mean, to, he had a problem earlier, I think he mentioned something about God creating from nothing. Well, saying the universe emerged from nothing, or if that was the claim, one of the claims that's made, is more absurd. That's what you call magic, right? When we say God created... Let me just, let me clarify. 
When we say God created from nothing or via nothing, what we're saying essentially is God can do this because he is the being who created with his will and his power. So it's not from, it's, it's God, God's will and power that, that the universe came into being via. So God via his will and power created everything that exists. Now the atheists denying God put themselves in a position, if they are to take the line of reasoning, well, the universe came from nothing, well, then you're saying the universe literally came from nothing, and then you end up with some absurd ideas, such as individuals like Lawrence Krauss, when they come out and write books on the universe from nothing, and to do so, to make their point, they have to redefine what nothing is. Right? And, they, and essentially, nothing according to him is something. It's a, it's, it's a vacuum, it's a sea of fluctuating energy. It, 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 you, have to place, you have to do such gymnastics to then reconsolidate things, right? So the most rational, intuitive, explanation is that the universe and everything that exists was created by a cause. Now which cause we can discuss later once you acknowledge that there is a cause, a creator. That's a different discussion. But to bring that in before and prior to acknowledging there's a creator is just a red herring. You're just shifting the, you're shifting the goalpost.